welcome to EC Electronics. This is a video on ISRO Scientist Electronics Preparation and we are seeing the questions on digital electronics in this video. Okay, so uh, we are doing the videos on subject wise or syllabus wise preparation for ISRO Scientist post and we have also done videos on the previous year questions. Okay, so today we are going to see the questions on the subject digital circuits or digital electronics. Okay, so uh, the first question is this. 24 to the base 8, that is, it is given in octal, represented in grey code as dash. Now, uh, there are four options given. Now, we need to find the grey representation or grey code representation of this 24. Now, uh, for finding that, what we need to do is, we need to first convert this octal number into binary format. Okay, so, first what I am going to do is, I am going to convert this into decimal number and then to the uh, binary representation okay that is if 24 in octal is converted into decimal that is decimal means to the base of 10 right so how how can you convert it it is by that is you know that the position is 0 and 1 so 2 into 8 raised to 1 plus 2 in sorry 4 into 8 raised to 0 this 0 and 1 are the position. 0 position and 1 position. Okay, so 2 into 8 raised to 1 plus 4 into 8 raised to 0. That is 2 into 8 is 16 plus 4 into 1 is 4. So, the number if represented in decimal it is 20. Now, find the binary representation of this 20. How can you find the binary representation of 20? That is 22. 10, 0, 2, 5, 0, 2, 2, that is 4 and remaining is 1, again 2, 1 and remaining is 0. So the number, if represented in binary, it will be 1, 0, 1, 0 and 0. If you see the number here, it is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digit number or 5 number representation to make uh, here the numbers are given in 3 plus 3 that is 6 number representation or 6 digit representation to have a 6 digit representation just add a 0 in the beginning okay now find this is the binary representation we need to find what gray code representation or gray code of this 24 now this 24 is in binary it is like this in order to find the gray code actually what is gray code gray code represents the change in one bit position between consecutive numbers. That is, if I am writing a 0 and 1, then there is a one bit, uh, bit change. That is, between 0 and 1, there is a one bit change. And this one bit change is represented using the gray code. So, if there is a change like this, that is 0 and 1 is having a change or a difference of one bit, right? So, this one bit is reflected as or it is represented in the gray code that is it is represented as a 1 in gray code now if it is a 0 0 there is no change between the consecutive bits that is this is represented as a 0 in the gray code right so in order to make it little more clear I'll do this example that is I will uh, convert this as gray code okay so what you need to do to convert this binary number into gray code is first write your first number or the the first number is 0 uh, just write that number then check whether the consecutive numbers that is 0 and 1 has any change that is it, whether it have a one bit change or not yes right 0 and 1 has a change of one bit so the output is 1 again check 1 and 0 Again, there is a change of 1 bit, right? So, the output is again 1. Now, 0 and 1, again, there is a change of 1 bit. So, 1, again 1 and 0, again 1. Now, 0 and 0 is 0. So, this is the gray code representation of this binary number. So, this is a binary. That is 24 8 binary representation is this and 24 octal representation 
its gray code representation as this. Okay, so how to obtain a gray code representation is that simply if a 0 or 0 or 1 or 1 is coming, then the gray code output is 0. And if a 0 or 1 or 1 or 0 is coming, means the output, the gray code output is 1. That is the gray code, in the gray code, what we are checking is that we are checking for a 1 bit change between the consecutive numbers. Okay, so that is done in the gray code representation. And here the answer is your option C. See here, it is this answer. So the correct answer for this question is your option C. Given 135 to the base x plus 144 to the base x is equal to 323 to the base x. What is x? So, these numbers are represented in some base that is it can be either octal or a hexa or any number that is x is the base of these numbers. We need to find the value of x. So, how can, you be, how can we find the value of x? Okay. So, uh, we know that here if 135 is given to the base x then the positions of these 1, 3 and 5 are 0, 1 and 2, right. So, we can represent this as x square into 1 plus 3 into x raised to 1 plus 5 into x raised to 0, right. Also, 144 to the base x similarly can be represented as 1 into x square because 0, 1 and 2 are the positions plus 4 into x raised to 1 plus 4 into x raised to 0 and also 323 to the base x can be represented as 3 into x square plus 2 into x raised to 1 plus 3 into x raised to 0. So according to the equation it is given that this plus this is equal to this. Okay, so just equate it and you will find the value of your base x. So I'm going to write it once again. That is, I'll write it here. 1 x square plus 4 x plus 4 x raised to 0 plus this is equal to your this. Okay, so here x square plus x square is 2x square. So 2x square. 4x plus 3x is 7x. Okay. Now 4x raised to 0 plus 5x raised to 0 is 9x raised to 0 is equal to uh, 3x square plus 2x plus 3x raised to 0. Now uh, 9x raised to 0 minus 3x raised to 0 is 6x raised to 0. And 7x minus 2x is 5x here. Okay. Okay. So this is your, I'll write this 3x square here. So this is your expression. Now, this x square, 2x square, if taken to this side, you will get 3x square minus 2x square, then x square. So, this is your expression that is x square is equal to 5x plus 6. x raised to 0 is 1, right? So, you can write this as x square minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0, right? Now, I am going to simplify this. That is x square minus is this minus 5x. I am going to write it as 6x plus x, okay? So, again, there is a minus 6 is equal to 0. Look at these two terms. Take an x common from these two terms. Then you will get x minus 6 plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, take a x minus 6 common. So, x minus 6 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. Right. Now, what is the value of x? x is equal to 6 and x is equal to minus 1. Now, minus 1, can this minus 1 be a base of any number? No. So, what will be the base or what is the answer? The correct answer is your option D. That is 6 is your base or the value of x is equal to 6. D is your correct option. The number of ones in the 8-bit representation of 
minus 127 in 2's complement is m. And 1's complement is n. What is m is to n? Now, uh, we need to represent this minus 127 as 1's complement and 2's complement. And then count the number of 1's in each representation. And what is the ratio of that 1's? That is a question. Okay. So, to do it, first we will uh, try to find the binary representation of this 127. So, if it is a 2, then 6, 3, remainder 1, 2 again, 3, and 1, the value is 1, again 2, then 1, and 5, 1, 2, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, and 1. So, what is the representation here? It is, uh, it is all 1's, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 1's. Now, we need to get a how many bit representation? 8 bit representation. So, to make this 8 bit, what will we do? We will add a 0 in the beginning, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 1's. So, this is a representation of plus 127. Now, we can represent this as negative 127 using 1's complement and 2's complement format. In the 1's complement format, 1's complement, 1's complement means taking the, that is making all 1's as zeros and zeros as 1's. So, 1, then rest all the 1's will become 0. So, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0 and 0. So, this is the 1's complement representation. Then, how can you get the 2's complement representation? To get the 2's complement representation, just add a 1 to the 1's complement representation. So, it will be this value plus 1. Okay. So, it will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, this is the 1's complement representation. This is a 2's complement representation. I hope it is clear. In order to get a 1's complement representation, make all the 1's as zeros and zeros as 1 in a binary number or a binary representation of a number. To get the 2's complement representation, just add a 1 to the 1's complement. So, this is a method. Now, we need to count the number of 1's. Uh, for the 1's complement representation, the number of 1's is represented using the letter n. So, here n is 1. And for the 2's complement representation, it is represented as m. And m is 2. We need to find the value of m is to n. That is 2 is to 1. So, the value of m is to n is 2 is to 1. Always, whenever answering such questions, don't get confused with n is to m or m is to n. Because both the values are given. See, 2 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 is given. Even though your answer of m and n may be right, but you may confuse, you may get confused with the ratio. Please don't do that. Always read the question thoroughly. The value of m is to n we need to find. And answer for this question is 2 is to 1. That is option A is your correct answer, which is 2 is to 1. These are the questions which I have included in this video. We will see in the next video with some more difficult questions in the digital electronic subject. I hope this video was useful for your preparation. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also do share this video with all your friends and family. And uh, for more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.